things, how, how things may go. You just learn from them. And, uh, you know, with the coaches, I helped out and being able to be ready, be the next guy up when anybody that went out and uh, got hurt or anything like that, I was the next guy in. So I was healthy. Everything was uh, good to go. And I was just ready to compete just like everybody else. So you've been asked, I'm sure you've been asked a lot over your career about the arm length issue. Yeah. How, how do you kind of work around that? What have you found in your career? Different fundamentals, man. Uh, different techniques that I can use to get the guys that's off of me. Um, I learned a lot along the way, different different mechanics, Krav Maga, different jiu-jitsu type of techniques to help out. And um, just to help me anchor and just to get the bull rushing guys up off of me. 30 and three quarters, is that accurate? I don't even know. It don't even matter. I just play with technique, man. And you can win. How similar is this offense to what you were doing in Cleveland last year to what you said? Uh, very much similar. I mean, it's uh, just, different, just different terminology. Um, that's the thing. Uh, once you get the terminology down, you're going to continue to play fast be faster and faster as the, as the game goes on. And uh, that's the big thing, uh, learning the terminology here from, la from, from there and switching it in my head to here is going to be a great, great asset for me. Chris, the delay it? between working out last weekend for the Titans and then joining the team today, uh, did you work out for any other teams or how tough was it when you're at this time of year? How, how challenging is it waiting for that call to say, yeah, we want you here? Um, you know, the best, the best way to do is stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And that's the main thing. Um, you know, I had another workout, but, you know, that's, that's out the window. You know, I'm here in Tennessee, and, uh, you know, thank God that I'm here. And um, I was prepared, and I'm ready. I know it's, 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 it's fast, but I'm going to be prepared. I know it's, you've only been here for a second, but coming into a line that's really, there's a lot of new faces here, a lot of people from a lot of other different places that have come here. What's, what's that like in that room right now, early on, that you can see? Um, just learning from the other guys that's been here. Um, it's a great group of guys, man. I see that already. And I think the most part, man, just having fun and just picking each other's brains and just getting to know each other. I think the main thing is, that as far as the old line is just being able to be a family, one unit and one sound. Once we can all play together and be highly, highly sound, I mean, we could beat anybody in the world. And, and how might that open up some opportunities, you figure? Yeah, it's great having, you know, him because he's just an awesome player, unbelievable player. And, yeah, it definitely opens up a lot of stuff in the passing game, having a, another great threat like that that, you know, defense has to worry about. What, uh, what kind of sense have you got from him? Maybe I know it's only been a couple of days, but uh, whether it's on the field or off, what, what kind of impressions do you have? With True professional. I mean, I remember he ran one readout. I was like, oh, my God, he didn't even break stride. He just ran and just turned immediately. I was like, man, that was amazing. But, uh, yeah, true professional. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot more trust there. Just because uh, I feel like I'm a lot better with the offense. Just a lot more trust there for him, you know, just letting it go. Are you, is it natural that, that you're more confident, even though it's a new offensive scheme, uh, naturally more confident going into you two, having more familiarity in general? With of course. I'm just more confident because I feel like, you know, in that offseason I put a lot of work in. Um, OTA has put a lot of work in. So, yeah, just as more reps come along, you just get more confident naturally. What's the comfort level with the offense at this point? You know, opening days of camp, you know, coming off the offseason. There's been a lot of talk about going faster off the ball. Do you feel like this offense will allow you all to attack even more this year? Oh, yeah, a lot more. I mean, right now it's day one, day two of camp, so it's all the day one, day two stuff, so it's not very uh, hard. I guess one day it's probably long, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely able to play a lot faster. A lot of the verbiage is toned down so we can go quicker. Are there expectations now that also with, with you know, you, you talked about being more comfortable, but are there also more expectations as you go to the year two? So uh, the expectation is to go out there and ball out every day. I think the marker you have for that. What's, uh, we in the media follow all these breakout lists, this kind of thing, breakout players for the coming year. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen you on like every single breakout list yeah. uh, around there. That, that a nice thing to see? Do you, you look at that kind of stuff that, you know? Uh, I mean, that's just what they talk about. For me, it's just I got to do what I do. I mean, I know what type of player I want to be. If they want to say I'm a breakout, then they can say that. But for me, I know what I specifically want to do in this game, and that's to be a great player. So either way, it is what it is. Out in the locker room, you know, it's regular stuff. With that offensive line in general, just getting to know each other, a lot of new faces, uh, new guys. What has it been like for you guys? Do you spend any time outside of the field just to, to build that bond? Yeah, it's, it's been good. Uh, they've been out here a couple of times, uh, you know. Uh, they all welcome, all the rookies in there. So it's a great group, a great group of guys, and uh, we're bonding very well.
conversations? Oh, they're great conversations. The coach of players and, you know, like he just coached me every day, on and off the field, no matter what I'm doing. He coaching me, he on me, try to make sure I don't get putting my best foot forward and doing what I'm supposed to do. In this situation coming in as a rookie, is it kind of crazy to think, hey, I'm battling for possibly a starting start the year? I know that's kind of mindset. up, so you just got to keep grinding, keep doing what you're supposed to do, and just work hard. you get any advice from anybody just outside of the building? Just work hard, just play hard and finish. That's just all you got to do.